Hi, this is John from the Appio team. In this tutorial I will explain to you, the dashboard of Appio App Builder and its functionalities. Let's begin. To create the new mobile application or game, click on the Create Application button. This will take you to the App Templates page. Here you will see the different mobile application, and mobile game templates available currently. Depending upon which type of app you want to create, select the template. Enter the application's name here, and click on the Create Application button. You will find the tutorials, on how to create any of these applications, on respective pages of these applications. Now we will go back to Appio Dashboard. These are different filters available to sort your application list. You can use this search box, to search applications by name. To filter applications by template type, use this drop-down. To filter applications by their status, use this drop-down. To see the list of applications, which are live on Play Store, select Live. In this section, each card represents a single application. This is the name of the application. This icon shows, the type of the application. This shows the status of the application. Here you can see, total download count of the app. These are the action buttons. Use the contents button, to add or modify contents of the application. To edit the application details, use this edit button. To get the link of your published app, click this button. If your app is live on Play Store, you can see its link here. If the app is not live, you will see this message. If your app recently got live on Play Store, you have to wait for 12 to 24 hours for the system update. Now we will move ahead. This progress bar shows the progress of the app building process. Click on this arrow button, to see the steps involved in the app building process, and status of each step. Step 1, is create app. Once you complete the app creation process, this will show success. If this shows an error, click on edit button, and fill all the required details to complete this step. Step 2, add or edit contents. If you have provided, the required minimum contents for the app, it will show success, else it will show error. Each type of app template, has different minimum content requirements. You can check that requirement, on the respective content page. Step 3, connect ad networks. This section indicates, whether you have connected your ad network, with your app or not. If you want to use AdMob into your app, you have to provide AdMob ad IDs while creating the app. If you want to use Meta Audience Network, you can provide its ad IDs, after your app is live on Play Store. To update your ad IDs, click on Enter ad IDs. Let's move ahead to the next step. Step 4, Build Files. This section is for building the files, which are required, to publish app on Google Play Store. If you have provided the complete details while creating the app, or say, if your step 1 is showing success, and you have provided, minimum contents required for the app, or say, step 2 is showing success. Build app bundle, and build media pack buttons will be enabled. If these buttons are disabled, check step 1 and step 2 again. Here you can click on the buttons, and send requests to build the files. Once an app building request is sent, you have to wait for some time. Say from 5 minutes to 60 minutes. Depending on the load on our servers. Once app and media files are ready to download, these buttons will be enabled. You will also get email notification, with download links. If you want to check, how your app looks and works, before publishing it on Play Store. You have the option to install it on your mobile. You can download APK file from here. This button will be enabled once you send the build app bundle request. Step 5, enable monetization. To monetize your app, or say start showing ads in your app, you have to enable monetization. For that, you have to copy this URL, by clicking on it. And paste it under the website section, while publishing your app. Click on this tutorial link, to see, exactly where you need to paste this URL. On your app listing page, under the left menu, you have to select, store preferences, under that, store settings, here you'll see the form, in this form, you have to paste this URL under the website section. And click on save. Moving back to our progress. Step 6, publish app. Check our tutorial section, for how to publish app on Play Store. Once your app is published and live on Play Store, this will show success. Once all the steps are cleared, this progress bar will show 100%. Whenever you see, this progress bar is not 100%, check these steps again, for any errors or warnings. Moving to the bottom of the page. You can see the pagination. By default you can see 12 apps on the dashboard, you can see the remaining apps, by navigating to the next pages. You can also select, number of apps to show on dashboards, using this. Now let's move back to the top. While publishing app on the Play Store, you need to provide a privacy policy. 
We have created a custom privacy policy with your developer name. You can use your own privacy policy or use the privacy policy provided by us. To get the link of your privacy policy, click on your developer name and here you will find the link of your custom privacy policy. Also, you can copy your email ID from here to use it during the app publishing process. You can simply click on this and it will get copied. On the left side, you will see the menu. You can navigate to different sections of this platform using these menu items. Keep checking this section regularly. We keep adding new features to the platform. If you have any issues while using this platform or publishing app, you can connect with our support team using this form. That's all for this page. Keep learning, keep earning.